Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. I was working with um, a towel that I put in my bread basket. So in the mornings, we, when I'm home, we, I slice up bread, and I'll put out the apple butter and stuff to have breakfast. So I thought, you know what, I'm a little bit tired of the cloth I have in my bread basket, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a new one. And I decided I'd like to embroider it, of course. But I realized, you know what, sometimes we get stuck in a rut, and we're looking for designs, we're looking for this, and I just realized, you know what, we haven't talked about symbols, and if we have, it's been a long time ago. So I decided what I was going to do is I was going to work with symbols. But before I pull up my symbol, what I did is I measured across my cloth and where I wanted on the corner that lays out of the bread basket where I wanted my little designs. So what I'm going to do first is those corners are at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab my line tool. And I'm going to use what's on my screen to make things easy. And I'm going to left mouse click right here. And I'm just going to kind of come up at this 45 degree angle using my grid to make these things happen. Now once I'm here, I'm going to come across. And I'm going to come across a little over seven, about 7 inches, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so that was across my cloth that I'm putting in my bread basket. I'm going to left mouse click here again, and then I'm going to come down really close, left mouse click, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this design by using my close tool. Now when I did that, it closed my artwork, so now I just have this nice little piece of artwork here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that, select that, and I'm going to turn it into a run stitch. Now the reason I have this across here is I wanted to, I've got my 45 degree angle, I wanted to make sure I came across as far as I needed to. So I'm going to turn this into a run stitch, and what this is going to do, and I'm probably going to make this about a 3.5 stitch length, because all this is going to do is stitch onto my Floriani Perfect Stick Tearaway so I can stick my cloth down. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my symbols. Because I don't want a lot of heavy embroidery, but I want some embroidery on this. And I'm just going to go along the edge. So I'm going to come in, and we have lots of fun symbols we can work with. Now symbols have a really cool way of working. And I'll just show you a couple things. But you can see there are symbols, and you can save symbols yourself in there. Now I'm going to get this apple, and when you have symbols, you can actually rotate and resize, and you can make as many as you like, any size you like. That's the fun of symbols. However, I just want one, so I'm going to come back, and do as my best friend, and I'm going to come in, and I want my apple standing up. I don't want it... Um, Curved, and I'm going to make it about an inch tall. How do I know that's about an inch? Because my grid is set at half an inch squares. So that gives me about an inch tall. And with this, I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to come in to my templates. Now in my templates, I happen to want this V, but I just want you to notice we have lots of template shapes in here. For these apples, as you can see how they're falling along. So now that I've got that, you notice my width is 179 millimeters. That's about 7 inches across. If I needed it farther across, I would change this to a bigger number. If I had made that, say, 8 inches across, I would have put this at 200 millimeters. So you understand? And then the height is 90 from up here to here. So perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this and say OK. Now notice my apples go right along that line. How cool is that? They go along that 45 degree angle line I drew and I've got my 
just about a little over seven inches across. So now what will happen is, is I will go ahead and stitch that placement line onto my perfect stick tearaway. I will then stick my bread cloth down and then I will go ahead and stitch out my little apples. Now the software itself when you do several of these things and you use our either our template tool or circle tool set, what it does is it goes ahead and it groups the colors so you're not changing your thread every two minutes. So it'll stitch out all the red, then it'll stitch out all the stems, and then it will stitch out the leaves. So I hope you enjoyed this short little lesson of playing with symbols and playing with, not only did we use our symbols, but we came in and used our templates tool. So how fun to put just a nice little design along the edge of a bread cloth, and since we use a lot of apple butter, this will be perfect. So I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have fun playing with your symbols, play with your, your um, templates tool, and realize all you have to do is figure out how far across you want to be, and put that number where? In our box. Right here is the box we would be putting it in to tell it the width across. Now this is in millimeters because they're smaller, but remember it's four quarters to a dollar. So a hundred millimeters is four inches. So I look forward to seeing you next week for our project of the week. Have a great week.